Papua New Guinea is a small country located in the Australia Oceania continent, with its land size being just slightly larger than Great Britain. Don't let its size fool you. Living in Papua New Guinea, there is always a possibility of an eruption. It is a hot spot for volcanic eruptions. From 1900 to 1994, there have been 15 volcanic eruptions in or near Papua New Guinea. This is due to its location along the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a string of volcanoes and sites of seismic activity or earthquakes around the edges of the Pacific Ocean. Roughly 90% of earthquakes occur along the Ring of Fire, and the ring is dotted with 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. Mount Lamington is one of many volcanoes that have affected the people of Papua New Guinea. Mount Lamington is classified as a stratovolcano with a summit elevation of 5,510 feet. This volcano is located on a subduction zone, which is why the eruption was so big and destructive. With its first eruption occurring on January 21st, 1951, the eruption was the greatest natural disaster to occur on Papua New Guinea. The Mount Lamington eruption is the 10th deadliest volcanic eruption in world history. It was rated a 4 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, meaning it's classified as a plenium. It was said by survivors that the smoke was 7 miles high and the explosion looked like an atom bomb going off. The eruption caused more than 3,000 deaths and resulted in the destruction of dozens of villages and millions of dollars worth of damage. The majority of these deaths were from the ash flows that were released from the eruption. Survivors photographed and reported a vehicle being suspended 3 meters above the ground between the tops of two damaged trees because of the pyroclastic surges dispensed by the volcano. Even though the majority of the deaths caused from the eruption were from the ash flows, that wasn't how the citizens of Papua New Guinea saw it. In the eyes of these citizens, the primary reason for why these people died was because of a lack of warning. Warning signs such as landslides, ash emissions, and lightning strikes were ignored by Australian authorities. Instead of being told to evacuate, the citizens of Papua were told to remain in their homes. Public safety is the most important thing when dealing with volcanic eruptions. It is commonly known that the number of deaths and casualties that occur are primarily due to a lack of public preparedness for a volcanic eruption. An informed and knowledgeable public can utilize safety strategies. Some of these strategies include listening for reports by authorities, staying clear of lava, mud flows, river areas, low-lying regions, flying rocks and debris, changing into a long sleeve shirt and long pants, and using goggles or eyeglasses, not contacts. And along with that, you should wear an emergency mask or hold a damp cloth to your face. Although if you decide not to leave, you should close all windows and doors and block chimneys and other vents to prevent ash from coming into the house. You should be aware that ash puts excess weight on rooftops and must be swept away in order to prevent it from collapsing. Also be aware that ash can damage engines and metal parts, so you should avoid driving. But if you you have to drive stay below 35 miles per hour.